New at 5 Now News 6 investigates a troubling trend. Raccoons and other animals in Brevard County are being caught in illegal traps. We're told some of the outlawed devices have been seized by FWC. And tonight, we're showing you what those illegal traps look like and how they work. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now. Mike, a bobcat was caught in one of those illegal traps. Lisa, that's what a local wildlife rescue organization believes. This is that bobcat here which had to be euthanized because its injuries were so severe. At least three of those illegal traps have been spotted in just the past few weeks. So this is the trap that we've been seeing. This spring-loaded contraption is designed to grab onto the leg of a raccoon, possum, or other small animal. And when the animal's paw goes in, this comes pulling back this steel. Traps like this are illegal in Florida. Yet just this month, several have been uncovered in Brevard County. This raccoon climbed a tree with one of those traps clamped to its leg. A company called Florida Wildlife Trappers shot this video that shows their team rescuing the raccoon and removing the illegal device. Just squeeze that down. Yeah, the other, the other paws, uh, see, see, he's going to scratch it as it comes up. On the very same day this happened, this bobcat was taken to the vet after likely getting caught in a similar trap. The bobcat had its leg completely missing. Uh, it appeared that it had chewed its, its, its leg off. Heather Pepe runs Wild Florida Rescue, an organization that responds to distressed animals in this ambulance and tries to get them the help they need. But she says the bobcat was so emaciated it had to be put down. We did everything we could to save him, but he was too far gone, unfortunately. Days later, Pepe says one of her volunteers witnessed a coyote similar to this one running through the brush with a trap stuck to its leg. Normally the trap would be buried in a hole a little bit, but you get the idea. Using this stick, let's see how powerful it is. This was an animal's leg. It's not coming out. This steel trap is illegal because it is so inhumane. Pepe believes someone may be placing the devices in Brevard County, possibly unaware they are banned in Florida. Steel leg traps are allowed in some other states and can easily be purchased online. It's one of our humane traps. Animal advocates recommend hiring companies like Florida Wildlife Trappers that are registered with the state. The animal comes along, animal is intact, no harm, no foul and asking questions about their techniques and tools to ensure they are not using illegal equipment. There's no reason down here to use those traps, not at all. Now the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission does allow a certain type of steel trap to capture destructive animals, but you have to get a permit for it. Without that permit, violators who use illegal traps could face up to 60 days in jail for a first time offense. Really good information to know, Mike, and just heartbreaking to hear some of those stories. You have to feel yeah. for those animals. Absolutely. Yeah.